I'm Rob from Barefoot Gaming and today I review deadness in virtual reality. Let's do this. I love virtual reality horror games. I can't help it. I actively seek them out. Games like Phasmophobia are not nearly as scary when you don't have a VR headset blocking out all of your senses. So when Deadness was announced, I actually wishlisted this thing a long time ago. What Deadness does different from other virtual reality horror games is it puts you in a wheelchair. Now that means you are gonna be sitting in the game and you are only moving around, not with a trackpad. There is no smooth motion and there is no teleportation. If you want to move, you take your hands, you grab the wheels on both sides of you and you roll them forward or you roll them back. If you want to turn, you grab one wheel and roll that one and it'll pivot you the one direction, one wheel the other direction. There's a negative to that in the sense that you can't roll one forwards and one back if you want to make fast corners, but that's the gist for the locomotion. Your location, however, which is really what's supposed to drive this game, is like an insane asylum. Surprise, a horror game happening in an insane asylum. So it's a very gritty and very dark game. And speaking of darkness, the gameplay that you see is way brighter than the gameplay that you experience. It's funny because I was watching it and I've been playing it and I'm like, that is nowhere near. So I actually put it back on. I'm like, it is way darker inside of the game. The game goes for $20 US. I'm not going to go on any spoilers as far as the storyline, but there is a bit of a storyline in this game. Let's list some pros, list some cons, and do I recommend it? Now, pros, the mechanic for movement is really, really, really good idea because a lot of people complain whenever you use like artificial locomotion, people complain when you teleport. This has actually got you stuck in a wheelchair. So complain, how else are you going to move around except by using the wheels? The con to that is it doesn't always work fantastic. So the first 10 minutes in the game, you're gonna feel very, very frustrated because the squeeze of the wheel and then grabbing and moving them forward doesn't seem to wanna work properly. And it got to the point where I had to just like gently do flicks and then it worked fine. Whenever you have to move and there's high pressure, part of the fear of the game is that you can't turn fast enough, which is fine, except that's a frustrating mechanic of how you actually move around in the game as well. But here's where the game kind of fell apart for me. Every level felt the same. Every level has you moving around, kind of exploring just a little bit, figuring out where the bad guys are, where the, the uh, inmates, I guess, are hiding and how to time to get around them or how to figure out how to camouflage. There are tapes that you'll press to give you some ambiance, some background as to what's actually happening. But then you'll get to a point in every level where you do something and someone will start chasing you. And at that point, you are fighting with the mechanic of movement in the game. So as neat as the movement is, it's the same mechanic every single time. And you get to the point where you die and it'll reset you back to that spot. And it's like, okay, so I need to aim at that doorway because as soon as I push this button, someone's gonna come through that door over there and I've got to get through it. And then they're gonna put a bunch of boards over a hole that I have to be very careful that I don't fall off of or else I die. And it's like, fine, do that for a level. But it's every level. Every level feels the same that way. So even though the horror mechanic is there, the scares are there, you go from one level to the next and it's like, okay, well, I know the death animation is gonna be exactly the same. I know that the chase is going to happen right near the end. And I know it's gonna put me in a spot where I have to go over a bunch of boards that I can easily fall into either side. That's not fun. What this game, in my opinion, should have been is an experience. Taken of everything that they took that was unique in one level and just make it one, ex one level, one experience, one something, because it felt grindy. It felt like all I'm doing is the same thing I did before, just on a vaguely different map. And then I do it again on a vaguely different map. So sure, there's a guy eating somebody on the floor. Gross-ish kind of, but I know he'll leave me alone because that's the way it's scripted. I move over there when I press this button, I press the next button, oh, da 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 da, -da music changes and he's after me. Guess what? I'm gonna have to go down a hallway that's got a bunch of boards that I have to try to not fall off of on either side. This game misses the mark for me. So at the price of $20 US or 25 Canadian, I can't recommend this. Uh, it would be, the demo might be neat if you can find a demo for it, but that's it. That's my review for Deadness. If you have questions about this review or anything else, 
leave them down below. I will do my best to get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. As always, I love hearing from you and I will talk to you again really, really soon. See ya.